Hello everyone and welcome back. Well, fall is in the air. Last night we just had our first frost warning that came across. But the days are still warm, but the nights are getting cold. Let's make camp and let's do some fishing. I was here about a week ago just on a fishing trip and I caught my personal best northern of 13 pounds. And I also caught a very nice bass, which I How many pulls do you guys think it's going to be today? I'm thinking three. What's your guess? No. Not bad. Nobody's been here. <laughs> I'm the only one that seems to use this spot.
chunk of wood here is a beautiful chunk of pine. It was standing upright but dead. And so it's not rotten one bit. But uh, I'm splitting it here because it seems to burn better, last longer, whatever. Splitting it kneeling though because my, my back hurts so bad today. Uh, this is how this is how I'm gonna get along all day. Just gonna scoop this up and uh, try to save it for later. Be a nice little snack in the afternoon. Oh. That's gonna be delicious. And I'm treating myself to a Mountain Dew. Although I've had probably more Mountain Dew than I should recently. But uh, not good for you, but they sure taste good. All right, here's our first fish of the day. It got on right at the very edge, so I didn't have a chance to turn you guys on, but beautiful looking northern. All right, something's jumping over here. I get it. Oh. Come on now. Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's a good fight. Oh. Oh yeah. What is it? Northern? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Making all sorts of racket. That's a good one there. A couple pounds. I just lost that one. Oh my gosh, it's the third one I've lost today. Unbelievable. Same thing happened last time too. Look at this. This is what keeps happening. They snag and it rips it right out. Gosh, it's the third one I've lost today. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go get them. No, I can't. I can't lose this many. I gotta go try to fetch them. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, yep. I gotta go catch I gotta go fetch this one and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go take a break at camp I bet. Alright, I'm back here at camp restringing this bait caster. The problem I'm having is I had it strung up with braided line and braided line works really well with uh, like toothy fish. Um, you know it doesn't just snap off right away when they bite on it but the downside of braided line is it doesn't have a very high tensile strength and it doesn't have any stretch to it so when you get that fish or when you snag it on something and you pull it or you cast and it throws a knot in your line it snaps off and that is why I am restringing this with some mono I believe it's mono it doesn't really say uh, trilean and hopefully we don't lose any more lures I got a six pack for my birthday and I believe the one that I lost today was the last one of that six pack 
plus I lost that floater frog. I've lost so many lures this year. I've, I've been fishing a lot though, so that's probably why. Uh, but I did, I just was on Amazon, I ordered up another six pack of flo floating frogs and a nine pack of the lures, um, the spinner baits, if you will. So we should be resupplied within a, a week or two. I don't know what it is. It has a good fight to it though. Oh, yep. Oh, it's pulling the boat. Oh, oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. What is it? It's fighting like a bass though. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh wow. Yeah, it is a big old bass. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. look at this thing. It's huge. And it's going to be dinner. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that fish. Oh. Oh. I know. Oh. Look at this bass. I told you guys are in here. Oh, buddy, you are all. Look at this thing. Hang on. Hang on. There it is. Beautiful bass. That is going to make a wonderful dinner. <laughs> oh, I knew it was in there too. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, got her on the stringer. Oh, let's get out of here. Yeah, I got one on. We got one on. Doesn't feel very big. It's fighting like crazy though. <laughs> what could it be? Yeah. What do we got? Oh, just a baby northern. I won't keep you. You're not dinner. Get it again. Yep, yep. We got it again. Oh yeah. I think it's another bass. Oh. Oh, big old northern. Oh, I bet you that's gonna be a keeper too. Woo! We gotta measure it though. But yeah, I, that one's probably. I don't know. Let's measure it and see. That one's probably 20. Uh, 20, maybe 24, 26. Little tape measure here. I just need to know if it's. I need you to lay flat there, boss. Yeah, let's, let's see. Don't move. 26. Yep. That's well under 30. We gotta get that one strung up, and uh, that's gonna be a good meal. All right, so I got them both on the stringer now. Not bad, they're like friends together. Let's get another one. 437, let's go back. We'll start getting the fire going again, get some fish going again, and then uh, we'll come back out a little later. I think they're a little, the fish are a little turned off right now for, for probably the hot part of the day or whatever, but let's head back.
Well guys, I wish I could sit here and tell you that I am the best fish filleter in the world, but I am not. <laughs> that is for sure. So, I'm just gonna rinse these off. This is a piece of bass. I got a bunch of northern in here. I just kind of worked my way around those Y bones and split it into a few different pieces. I got what I could out of it. Let's see. Well, I messed up this. It's supposed to. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. We're gonna do it our own way here. Cut this. Cut this bass fillet, and we're gonna dredge it in a shore lunch batter. Rebatter it in more shore lunch. Messy as ever. Well, what do you think? Shall we try? All right, everyone. It is what's known as prime time. Let's see if we can get on some fish. All right, everyone, I tried the spinner bait and daredevil, lipless crank baits, everything. They are not biting, not, not tonight. <laughs> so we are going to mosey on back and I guess kind of get camp situated. You guys see all these mosquitoes? Luckily, I got uh, a head net on. I'll show you guys. Luckily, I got a head net, and then, well, before my head net, I cinched up my hood. And then I realized, that, oh, I have a head net. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're pretty hungry. Hopefully it cools off in the next little bit and they uh, 
they go away. Alright, so I am just cooking up a couple of pork chops. That fish was delicious, but fish is such a light meal, I always get so hungry after it. These are the backup or a couple of thin cut pork chops. Oh, it gets dark so early now, it's uh, 9 o'clock maybe. And uh, I feel like I should be going to bed or something. <laughs> Alright, I got the fire loaded up and I did it on purpose because the heat actually reflecting off of the tent like radiates in there. So I've noticed that I'll be a lot warmer tonight because it'll it'll collect some of that heat through the fabric of the tent. And it is going to get cold and I noticed around here that it, it's calling for 50 which isn't bad. But I bet it'll be 40 for whatever reason uh, it gets warmer than they say and then it gets colder than they say. It's kind of unpredictable around here. And then for food, I just put everything over here. So if I have any unexpected visitors at night, they're over here hopefully. <laughs> I even put like my toothpaste in there. I don't think I have any food in the tent. And like I said, this is an island. So I'm not super concerned about it, but people have pointed out bears can swim. <clears throat> so can big cats and so uh, just to be on the side of caution um, I put it over there so anyways I'm gonna snuggle on in there and I guess I'll see you in the morning unless anything crazy happens good morning it is cold like definitely 50 or less, probably like 40, <sighs> but I have to get up because I have been slacking, what time is it, it's got to be 6.30, yeah, it's 6.30, so, uh, I'm still warm in this cocoon that I made, <laughs> oh, I gotta get up and get out of here though. So I'm kind of running behind now. It's so early, everything has condensation on it, so... There's no point in me to really fully wrap up the tent. It has condensation on it. My cot has condensation on it. Just everything. So we'll just lightly scrunch everything together. And when I bring it home, I'll have to hang it out to dry. Alright, we got the tent picked up, put in its bag. Uh, not really rolled up very good because when I get home I'll have to lay it out because it is wet with condensation along with pretty much everything here. So now we just have to throw everything in the boat and boogie across the lake. Ooh, it is cold though. My fingers, I, I should have grabbed my gloves. My fingers are tingly right now. Ooh. Look at the two Camp Jays. One there and one up here. Hey guys. Should have came by yesterday. Oh, three. That's all three of them. Or was there four at Dad's camp? Huh? That's awesome. Well, how many pulls do you guys think it's going to take this morning? Two? Like yesterday?
Well, that's going to wrap up this fish camp catch and cook. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more.